Hello everyone, I'm Jeff Stanley with Stanley Handcrafted and today we're gonna to be talking about fragrance oils. Now, I've been wanting to do this one for a while but I wasn't really sure how to go about setting it up so I'm just gonna go through and talk about some of the different fragrance oils. We've got three different ones that I'm gonna talk about today in the bottle form, like how it comes to you from the supplier and the smell and how it comes to you or how it comes across to you once you make it into a candle. Along with all the uh, the real basic questions like what wax to use, uh, what wicks to use, a very common question is fragrance oils. Have you used this one? One of the biggest questions in the groups is people trying to figure out what fragrance oils to use. So with this kind of series right here and I wanna do this one as much as possible, we're just gonna go over the different fragrance oils from all the different manufacturers and suppliers and uh, just kind of go in depth on basically what my opinions are of them. And then also try to get some opinions from people who have used them as well in the group, the DIY Facebook group, as well as in the comment section down below, just to get kind of a real broad idea of what people think of these, because everybody's tastes are gonna be completely different from oil to oil. Uh, some people love uh, florals and some people hate florals. Uh, the food scents, some people love them, some people hate them, so it's good to get a real wide range of uh, opinions on these. Okay, so for today we're gonna be doing, I've got three different ones. I've got Sea Salt and Orchid from Candle Science. I've got uh, Pink Sugar, which is a Sephora type scent from Aztec Oil. And then I've got Orange and Chili Pepper from Candle Science also. So the first one I'm gonna be talking about is Sea Salt and Orchid. Now I'm gonna go ahead and give the, uh, the breakdown of this one, all the different notes throughout it, and then I'll kind of go into it. So the very top note is sea salt and ozone. The middle is jasmine, lily of the valley, green leaves, and the base is wood and tonka bean. Now this is my one of my personal favorites. I love sea salt and orchid. It's really nice out of the bottle. It's really nice in the candle. I don't know if I would put this one at any particular season. I, I would say probably, I mean, I like this one year round, but it's definitely not a winter scent. I like it in the winter time but uh, it definitely fits more spring summer and it can kind of carry both of those. Now with this one, I've got just a, a basic one ounce. I've got a big bottle of this one also, but uh, straight out of the bottle. And the only reason I wanna talk about the difference between the bottle and the candle is because a lot of these scents, obviously these are in a very concentrated form so they can be very strong. And the other thing, the other reason why I wanna talk about from bottle to candle is they can really change their notes from uh, from one to the other. Some of them are ex an exact match. When you smell it in the bottle and when you smell it in the candle, they are literally the exact same thing. And then there are some that really don't come out. You smell them in the bottle and they kind of come out. You can, you can kind of tell what it is. And then once you put it in the candle, it like really opens up. So there's a big difference there. And then on the other side of that, there are some that are nice and strong in the bottle and then as soon as you make them in a candle, they're very diluted, they're very faint, and they just don't carry very well. Now the sea salt and orchid directly out of the bottle is definitely a lot brighter than it is in the candle. You really get... Now see, this is one that I actually like in the candle much better because it really tones out some of these notes. With this one right here, fresh out of the bottle, you can definitely pick up more of the jasmine and the green leaves. The lily of the valley, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> but you can definitely pick up the sea salt. This one in the bottle, you can really pick out a lot of the different notes that are in this thing. And then once you break it down into candle form, the cold throw, the cold throw on this really breaks down to maybe two. You can really get the sea salt out of this one, which is really nice. And it's not real overpowering. Like if you're at the beach, you get that real kind of salty air and it's really nice. But if you stay there too long, you're just like, my God, get me out of here. This is right as the first day on the beach. This is very nice. As far as the other middle and base notes, I don't get too much out of this one. The uh, the tonka and the uh, the wood. I mean, I get a little bit of the wood in this one, but, but when you burn this one, you definitely get the sea salt and you get a little bit of one of the floral notes, but it's nothing real overpowering. Uh, when you walk into a room, you can definitely you can definitely smell it. It's not gonna hit you in the face. It's not a real strong, but it's one of those scents that carries. You walk in and you know you smell it. And again, the Sea Salt and Orchid is an incredible seller for me. I don't have any problems if I have it in the wintertime, spring markets, summer markets, winter markets. It sells very well. Okay, so the next one we're going into is the Aztec Pink uh, pink Sugar. Now this one, I didn't really find a good breakdown of the, of the different, like the top, middle, and base notes in this one. So I'm just gonna read you the headline of exactly what this one is across like Flaming Candle, all the different websites that are out there that hold this one. 
It's uh, sweet and cotton candy and lemon drops with raspberry jam, sweet caramel, fragrant lily of the valley, and soft musk. Now this one right here, this is another one that really picks up all the different notes when you smell it inside the bottle. I, and this one is kind of a sleeper. It's it's really nice. You can definitely you can definitely smell that it's pink sugar. So if you're ever in a Sephora or if you know the perfume, you can definitely pick it out. It's really nice. This one comes across a little more fruity in the bottle than it does in the candle. And again, I've got this one in, uh, and pretty much all the candles I show here are going to be the the oils in 6006 wax. So the pink sugar in this one, once you put it in candle form, a lot of those fruity notes really kind of fade away and you're left with more of a uh, cotton candy, almost like a burnt sugar, but not a burnt sugar that uh, is real overpowering and disgusting. It's, uh, I'm not sure what kind of baking would require burnt sugar, but uh, like a creme brulee or something like that, where you kind of, you burn the top a little bit and you get that real first instance of uh, burnt sugar and it's a really nice scent. That's exactly what this is. It's, again, it's a very nice scent. It's not too overpowering. It definitely fills a room. You can smell it. And it's not one of those, it's definitely a, a perfumey type scent. So I would go uh, probably spring, summer, maybe a little more towards spring. Definitely works in the wintertime. Pretty much, depending on who you are, all these scents are gonna work for somebody throughout any season. But this one is definitely more more of a springtime scent, I would think, with that uh, perfume. And this one right off the bat, you get that burnt sugar. I can pick up a little bit of the caramel. Uh, definitely somebody walking into it might get a, a, a real cotton candy scent out of this. And again, if you've got this one at a market or if you haven't picked this one up, this is another very good seller. The pink sugar, again, does extremely well. People that walk up and know the scent pink sugar are gonna pick it up immediately. People who don't know the scent, def they always ask about it. I'm trying to come up with some type of a rating system with this one. Like if I if I take 12 of these to a market, how many am I going to sell? And I think that might be what I do with the uh, the rating system on this one. Like if I take 12 vanilla candles, I'm going to sell all 12. Another scent, I don't even know if I had a bad scent and if I took 12, uh, maybe one would sell. So I think that might be the rating system that I come up with for this one. And again, so if I'm going to do this, the uh, sea salt and orchid, if I take 12 of those to a market, I'm gonna say a good eight to 10 of those will probably sell. The pink sugar, on the other hand, if I take that one to a market, that one is gonna be probably probably six to eight. It, it does extremely well. <laughs> Jeez. What are you doing, kitty? The pink sugar does extremely well. It definitely hits more of that, definitely hits more of that floral perfume crowd, which doesn't, it, it doesn't travel across all palettes as well as something like uh, like the, the sea salt and orchid does. And last, and last but not least is the uh, orange and chili pepper. And I chose this one for a reason, just because a lot of people ask about this one, but not a lot of people get it because it's just one of those ones that sounds extremely weird. Orange and chili pepper. You never know what you're gonna get, so a lot of people, and that's the other re reason why I wanted to do this review channel, was a lot of people don't wanna take the chance on a $20 bottle of oil and find out that it's just garbage or it's just not gonna sell. So with this one, I got, I try to get sample bottles, a different one every single time I order some stuff from Candle Science or Aztec or anything. If they offer sample oils, I always try to get some. I always try to pick up the, uh, the five for five deal that, uh, uh, I believe Aztec runs that one. Anytime there's a, a 99 cent deal, I try to buy as many as possible just so that I can kind of expand my palette. And the orange chili pepper is one of those ones that a lot of people don't take a gamble on. It's, I'll give you the breakdown of this one. So the top note on this one is chili, the middle is orange, and the base is green leaf. So there's really not it, there, there's not a wide assortment of uh, stuff in this one. Now this one, if you haven't smelled this, this one will kick you in the nose as soon as you open it up. It, I mean, it is so unbelievably strong with the pepper scent. Uh, I don't get any of the green leaves. I don't know where that one comes from. I, the orange you can pick up a little bit, like once you smell it, you instantly get chili. And it's not like a faint chili. It's like if you like, cut open a chili pepper and just rubbed it on your nose, that's what you're smelling. This stuff is strong. I, it's, <laughs> and then once you get to the back end of it, like once you get rid of that, that kind of chili scent, the back end, the back end of it, you, uh, you get a little bit of the sweet orange, which is kind of nice. And that's one of those, one of those scents where 
just fresh out of the bottle, the second you smell it, you're like, there's no way I would do that. And then you get that sweet orange and you're like, I don't know, it, it kind of brings it back to it a little bit. There's something in this one that, that I like and there's something in this that I don't like. And then once you get it to a candle, and this is one of those ones that definitely goes from bottle to candle exactly the same way. When you smell this one, you instantly get hit with that real sharp, extremely spicy pepper. And then you get that back end of sweet orange, which is actually really nice. Now for me personally, <laughs> at first scent, at first smelling this one, I like it a lot. Um, I left this one open in my office for a little bit and while I was editing a video, I'd say probably an hour into it, I had to cover it up. I, just, I couldn't take it anymore. It was so strong and it wasn't even burning. I would just pick up that sweet, that sweet, real, just real spicy scent every once in a while and it would just hit you like a sack of bricks. I mean, it really kicks you. Now that's not to say it's a bad scent. This is actually a really nice scent. I've taken this one to markets. It does okay. Um, so, I mean, the crowd for this one is gonna be really thin. If I take this, if I take 12 of these to the market, I'd say probably four are gonna go. So if on the rating system, if you take 12 to a market, you're probably gonna get rid of four, maybe five. Uh, the people who like this absolutely love it. Most people are gonna pick it up. They're gonna get that spicy, I mean, it just shoots straight through your nose. It's unbelievable. Uh, they're gonna get that and they're just gonna go, no way. And I've had that happen multiple times. All right, so I think that's pretty much it. Those are three different oils and I'm gonna have three separate ones the next on the very next video. Out of those three, I definitely would say, if you're gonna pick up one of those, I would say the sea salt and orchid over any of the three. They're all very good ones to get. The pink sugar and the sea salt and orchid, definitely the two out of these three. But if you're gonna pick one out of those, the sea salt and orchid is an automatic seller. That one is just a no brainer. Whereas the chili pepper is definitely a good one to have. I don't know that I would take 12 to each market, but having two or three of those just to kind of show people the, the scent. The other good one about that, the other good thing about that chili pepper one is it really shows off the contrast. It, like if they're going through and smelling your candles and they smell that one and then they go right back to like a vanilla or a sea salt and orchid, they're really gonna know the difference. Notice the difference on a candle or those candles. And you can almost use that to your advantage to kind of highlight some of the other scents because going for, it's like uh, when you go to a perfume shop or Macy's or something like that at the perfume counter where they make you smell coffee beans so that you can kind of re, kind of cleanse your palate. <laughs> that chili pepper one is gonna cleanse your palate and you're gonna get a whole new appreciation for some of the other scents. So I hope this video was good. I'm gonna do a lot more of these. If you like the video or the fragrance reviews, please let me know in the comments down below. I'll try to go through and answer every single one of them. If you want to reach out to me through email, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, I've got all the links down below as well. And again, if you haven't joined the DIY Facebook group, I've got a link for it down below. Uh, we just hit 8,000. I think as I'm recording this video, we just hit 8,000 subscribers. So very active community. So go ahead and jump on over there. And I'm going to post this video and we'll talk about, we'll get a bunch of different people's opinions on these three cents. So if you like it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thank you.